So when our intuition gives us a certain impulse to try something else, to walk in another direction, we might say, but I was known for being that kind of person. But what people like about me most is the way I used to be. And our intuition doesn't give a fuck about that. Hi there, I'm Annie Katranamas and I'm occasionally awake. I'm here to help you inspire your awakenings, heal yourself and reawaken your life. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why your intuition doesn't give a fuck. Your intuition and you just don't have the same priorities, we could say. And also stay tuned to learn why that is actually a good thing. Your intuition could not care less about what other people think. See, whenever we are in comparison mode, we are tuned in to our ego more than we are tuned in to our intuition. Our ego is essentially our identity configuration, who we believe ourselves to be. Your intuition doesn't care about other people's opinions. Your intuition follows feeling rather than thought, and feeling is determined by personal well-being. In fact, your intuition doesn't even care what you think about its suggestions. Your intuition is 100% independent from judgment, criticism, competition, comparison, and identification. Your intuition doesn't care if following your next creative impulse might discontinue an already existing logical path. We are still somewhat expected to stay on one path and walk that path. And if we diverge from the path, it might sound kind of daring and it might hold the implication of failure. If you discontinue one path, that means you fail that path. Intuition has a different take on that. Intuition is not interested in a linear pathway. In fact, linear pathways are a product of society and culture. Your intuition might lead you all over the place. One path, another path, another path, changing direction, taking U-turns, and that might in fact be a beautiful thing. And it might very well be that your intuition is gonna lead you in directions that do not make sense to anybody else but yourself. And they don't need to make sense to anybody else but yourself. And of course, even the perception of the shape of that path, your unique path, is gonna be entirely subjective. And the path that might look like a crazy maze to other people might feel just very naturally curved to your personal experience. And as you are the only person walking that path, that is totally fine. I'm so glad you're here right now. So if you enjoy this, please make sure to like and subscribe to become occasionally awake with me. Okay, I like this one. Your intuition doesn't care if following it makes you look or feel irresponsible, illogical, and delulu. Your intuition is gonna make you wanna follow what's in alignment with yourself. And what's in alignment with yourself is often not in alignment with a norm, a standard, with everybody else. This is quite loud, can you hear this? That is the sound your intuition makes as it does not give a flying fuck about your expectations. Right now, I'm irritated and I feel like this is not going according to plan. That sound should not be there. And this is exactly what our ego does hearing our intuition speak or hearing, seeing our intuition prompt a certain creative impulse that is outside of the realm of the actions that we feel comfortable and habitualize taking. I wanna encourage you, whenever you feel like your intuition is talking to you in a way that following it would mean looking totally delulu, that's quite the good sign that that is absolutely what you are encouraged to do. Your intuition doesn't care how it looks on your CV. Your intuition doesn't care if it's career compatible. Sometimes your ego is gonna lead you in a direction that does not make any logical sense from what you can see. And it's so important to always remember that what you can see from here is a very subjective and limited perspective. Remember that your intuition connected to your spirit, your soul, your heart, 
can see more than you can from your perspective. And this might be true for your career and your CV, but also for every other context. You never know where following your intuition might take you in the long run, because we cannot perceive or plan how one tiny action carried out today might impact our life on a whole different level. Your intuition doesn't plan long-term because long-term planning is the ego's job, the ego's perspective. That is also the 3D perspective of logistics, of culture, of society, of the matrix. Your intuition doesn't care if it conforms to the rules of society or to cultural conventions. Your intuition is not connected to 3D concepts. It follows what feels good in the moment, what is in highest alignment with yourself in the moment, and it's gonna prompt creative impulses for you to receive accordingly. See, I am aware of the fact that many of the things I list here are somehow similar and intertwined, but it still felt important for me to mention every single one of these points because every single one of these points often tends to be one reason that makes us doubt our intuition or that leads us to the question, is it safe to follow my intuition? Should I be following my intuition on this one? We might feel the clarity and the peace and the bliss and the beautiful subtle feeling from the creative impulse, from our intuition. And then we might come to the conclusion, but doesn't this go against the societal norms, make other people judge me, make other people think I'm Delulu, but isn't this irresponsible, but won't it hurt my career? Your intuition doesn't care if it might cost you your reputation. See, our ego values consistency above all else. And it tends to reproduce the same old story of who you are over decades. So when our intuition gives us a certain impulse to try something else, to walk in another direction, we might say, but I was known for being that kind of person. But what people like about me most is the way I used to be. I can't contradict that. And our intuition doesn't give a fuck about that. Intuition is all about reinvention, creation and recreation of self. And our intuition might encourage us to try something new, that maybe some people are gonna dislike, that is maybe gonna influence how we are perceived by others, and that is maybe gonna discontinue others' perceptions of us and change that perception, sometimes in our favor and sometimes not in our favor. Your intuition doesn't care if it costs you your relationships. Your intuition doesn't care if it costs you relationships that are outdated, that are toxic, that are not in your best interest, that are not at eye level, that are not mutual, that are not reflecting your values and your vision. Sometimes following our intuition is gonna mean leaving people behind that don't resonate anymore with the person we are becoming. Here's the thing, your intuition rather encourages you to walk the path of your own well-being with a beautiful, loving, mutual, high resonance relationships in our lives, those paths usually sync up. But just in case those paths don't sync up anymore with certain people in our lives, if it's either or, it's you first. That is not selfish, that is self-care. Your intuition doesn't care about your finances. It might prompt you to make a certain expense that might look illogical to others or possibly even to you. See, I'm obviously not talking about making irresponsible financial decisions and stretching your credit card because of the latest advertisement. Anyway, intuition usually cares about experiences a lot more than about shiny objects. I'm talking about the flyer you felt called to pick up from the floor and you just know you gotta go there, go to that seminar or workshop, go to that meeting or go to that concert. If the impulse makes your mind wander, well, are you sure? Okay, whatever. That's a good indication that it's your intuition talking to you. Your intuition doesn't care if it requires a great leap of faith. Your intuition tends to be just ready to jump, head first into the cold water, act first, doubt later. No overthinking this time. 
Your intuition doesn't care if you're prepared. The phrase, you gotta start before you're ready, could have well been a quote from our intuition. Your intuition is like a curious child in that sense. It simply says, let's try something new. I wonder how that's gonna work out. That sounds fun. Let's just see what's gonna happen. Let's go all in. Your intuition does not care about logistics. If we are weighing the options, whether we should follow our intuition or rather not this time, our ego might come up with certain questions and certain conventions. Yeah, but which forms do I need to fill in? And how do I get there? Who's gonna be watering the plants while I'm gone? These questions are ego 3D logistics questions. It's very common to have these questions pop up as soon as we feel our intuition speaking and we sense how it feels like to follow our intuition in a certain direction that seems kind of weird, but we're considering it. And in that moment, our ego often turns up the volume on the logistics. And we might fall into the habit of negating the intuition, the impulse we've had before and coming to the conclusion that it's safer or less complicated, that it's easiest to simply not do it. Maybe next time. Maybe once all those forms are filled out, once we know who's gonna water the plants when we're gone, and once we figured out how to get there safe. Now that you are aware of all the things your intuition is giving zero fucks about, let's look at why that is actually a good thing. And that has to do with your comfort zone. Here's the thing. If your intuition cared about any of these things as much as the rest of you does, you'd possibly never leave your comfort zone. Expanding our comfort zone requires us to grow beyond our old version of self. And that can be scary. And the fastest and simplest way to gather the courage to expand that comfort zone despite the fear we might feel is to lean into the feeling our intuition causes us to feel, which usually is the feeling of clarity and bliss and peace and the innate knowing that it's gonna be safe to follow our intuition. The voice of our heart is never gonna lead us astray. And if we learn to tune into that voice, to turn down the volume of culture, society, and of our own ego as our personal representative of the two, and if we turn up the volume on our intuition, it's gonna become easier and easier to identify the voice of our intuition. While the ego knows the paved road to our conscious plans and goals, only our intuition knows the path of our soul. And if we wanna grow beyond ourselves, in a way that is meaningful and in alignment with our highest purpose, we can rely on our intuition to lead the way, to show us a direction that goes beyond what we are capable of seeing with our limited 3D egoic vision. Got any occasional awakenings yet? Now I'd like to hear from you. So let me know in the comments below which things you had to not give a fuck about the last time you followed your intuition. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. This video is related to the awakening to the conscious self. If you want more insights on the four types of awakenings and how to experience them in your life occasionally, visit me at occasionallyawake.com to inspire your awakenings. Bye.